Our inconceivable lead is way out of this world, 390 light years away truth be told. For setting, one light year is indistinguishable from 6 trillion miles. In humankind's determined journey for loosening up the insider secrets of the universe, we've set out on a mission that goes beyond time itself, searching for answers to age-old requests woven into the surface of existence. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its unblinking eye, has as of late identified a short glance at a structure starting before the presentation of stars. This superb thing radiated an impression of being more ancient than the genuine universe, raising a greater number of questions than it answers. How might a plan exist that starts before our universe, or is the hypothesis of how things became to blame? Join us as we set out on an odyssey guided by the discoveries of the James Webb Telescope. The secrets of a 13.8 billion-year-old development await, and the journey to loosen up these enormous mysteries has just barely begun. In a distant corner of the universe, around 200 light-years away, an old star called HD 1114283 lives close to the Libra constellation. This eminent wayfarer moves enthusiastically through space, offering intriguing brief looks into its violent past. Precisely 12 billion years ago, during a time when our Milky Way was still in its early stages, it ingested a dwarf galaxy that once called it home. But what truly piques our cosmic interest in HD 1114283 isn't just its fast cycle, it's its astounding age. Among the celestial objects we've observed, it remains one of the oldest, earning the enchanting moniker Methuselah star, compared to the scriptural figure Methuselah, who, legend has it, lived for 969 years. Originally estimated to be a shocking 16 billion years old, the latest estimates propose a somewhat younger time of 14.46 billion years, with a margin for error of 0.8 billion years. This revelation about its age puzzled astronomers. After all, the age of the universe, as calculated from the cosmic microwave background, floats around 13.8 billion years. This issue raised huge questions about the star's age, the universe's age, and even the accuracy of our dating methods. Let's break it down. Figuring out the age of celestial objects can be a real puzzle. Take stars, for instance. Like the sun, they're like immortal lights, maintaining their radiance, temperature, and size for billions of years, making them fascinating to age date. Astronomers use changes in brightness and color as clues, matching these with models predicting how stars evolve over time. One age giveaway is the speed at which a star spins, like a wheel, stars slow down over time. By comparing the rotational speeds of stars at different ages, astronomers have worked out a clever trick called gyrochronology. Stars also spill their age secrets through magnetic chatter, flares, and emissions of energy on their surfaces. These energetic signals give space experts, being the space detectives they are, a way to eavesdrop on stellar conversations. With advanced techniques like astroseismology, they listen for vibrations caused by waves traveling through a star's interior. These vibrations can reveal a star's age. For instance, by applying this method to the sun, space specialists determined its age to be 4.58 billion years ago. Now, back to Methuselah star. The old transmission around it isn't just inconsistent. Astronomers classified it with an old age by examining its cosmic origin. Stars can be classified into groups based on how much bling or heavy elements like iron they have. Our sun is a metal head, belonging to population 1 stars. Methuselah star, on the other hand, is like an ancient relic from population 2, with fewer heavy elements. It's the celestial wink-out that helps cosmologists play cosmic archaeologists, unraveling the age stories of these heavenly creatures. Now imagine a group of stars, theoretical population 3, which astronomers suspect might be the universe's most ancient gems, though they're still hiding in the background and haven't yet appeared in our telescope spotlight. Space experts suspect these stars might be the legends of creation, containing almost no heavy elements. To grasp the cosmic plan, we need to rewind to the universe's early days, right after the Big Bang. Picture an endless kitchen filled mostly with hydrogen and helium, the universe's main ingredients, around 92% hydrogen and 8% helium, or if you average it, about 75% hydrogen and 25% helium. In this cosmic ensemble, the first actors on stage were the population 3 stars. They were massive and hot, burning through their fuel rapidly, transforming hydrogen and helium into heavier elements. When these early astronomical monsters exploded, they spread these heavy elements into the vast span. Next in line were the population 2 stars, forming a late but still significant chapter in humanity's early days. Their original materials were loaded down with heavy elements, particularly iron. Many of them went through their stellar life cycles, blasting into supernova and adding more heavy elements to the universal blend. Finally, the population 1 stars, including our sun, emerged as cosmic newbies, 
forming from advanced gas clouds mixing with remnants from the earlier population 2 stars. Now, the central question, does the vast story throw an infinite curve at the theory of the ancient Big Bang? It's a head-scratcher, but here's the twist. There's a 70% chance that Methuselah star, the ancient celestial stray, could be in the vicinity of 13.66% old, aligning with the age of the universe. There's also a 30% chance that this ancient star's age is playing outside the cosmic rulebook. Furthermore, there's a 15% chance it's not as ancient but significantly younger. Imagine rolling a standard six-sided die and expecting a particular result. Regardless of what these cosmic bends throw at us, one thing is sure, Methuselah star isn't just a colossal veteran, it's the granddaddy of stars. We figured out how to give it an age label that's darn precise. Now, here's where it gets awesome. Instead of scratching our heads about where Methuselah star could be 2 or 3 billion years older than its cosmic neighbors, let's flip the galactic script. What if the universe itself isn't as young as we once thought? We've been trying to get a handle on the vastness of space, and if we turn the entire history of the universe into a cosmic calendar, with the Big Bang as the most incredible New Year's fireworks, Earth wouldn't even join the cosmic hammer until the last second of December 31st human written history, that's just a blip in time, covering only the last 10 seconds. Our astronomical examiners determine the universe's age by looking at old starlight, born a couple hundred million years after the Big Bang. As the universe expands, it gives this light a cosmic makeover known as redshift. By doing the math on both distance and expansion, specialists declared a general time of 13.8 billion years. But hold on, because the Big Bang situation is about to get interesting. A study from the University of Ottawa suggests the universe might be a whopping 26.7 billion years old. Professor Rajendra Gupta picks up on an intriguing theory from 1929, made by Swiss astronomer Fritz Zwicky, and it's shaking up our cosmic understanding. This theory suggests that as light particles, photons, travel through the vastness of space, over time, they lose some of their energy. Though this idea doesn't perfectly align with what we've observed through our telescopes, Gupta proposes a cosmic trade-off. He suggests we can blend this theory with our current understanding of a growing universe, creating a hybrid explanation for the redshift phenomenon. Now buckle up. Changing the universe's age to an unbelievable 26.7 billion years is no small feat Gupta adds another twist to the cosmic mix by combining the light loss theory with evolving coupling constants, a brainchild of theoretical physicist Paul Dirac. This idea suggests that the way particles interact may have changed over time. And hey, scientists have a history of tweaking the cosmic clock. Back in the 1920s, Edwin Hubble thought the universe was only a simple 2 billion years old. We've come a long way since then, refining our astronomical math and increasing the universe's age, like taking a giant leap into our vast understanding. However, whether this new perspective becomes the galactic norm is still up in the stars. Whether human history is a simple blip of 10 or 5 seconds in the grand design of the universe, one thing is certain, the universe is a motherload of ancient miracles and endless inspiration. Looking to our vast backyard, the Milky Way, there's a stunning, enormous tango happening in the universe. Recent estimates hint that stars on the edges of our universe are strutting their stuff in slow motion compared to their partners in other galaxies. What's the astronomical scoop? Well, there are a few hypotheses, and one theory is that our Milky Way might be running low on an invisible, massive ingredient called dark matter. This elusive substance influences the gravitational dance of grand objects. There's a celestial mystery involving dark matter, the mysterious substance we can't see but seems to play a gravitational back and forth in the universe. One possibility that's shaking our vast understanding is that perhaps we've been estimating dark matter wrong. Our universal compass might be pointing off course. Here's where the European Space Agency's Gaia satellite steps into the cosmic spotlight. It's like our astronomical examiner, providing complex insights into the dance of nearly 2 billion stars in our Milky Way. Consider it a cosmic development test. The satellite's precise measurements have led astronomers to rethink their cosmic notes. Stars at the outer edges of our Milky Way seem to be moving slower, challenging our old assumptions about their speeds. How do star speeds spill the cosmic beans about a galaxy's mass?